Welcome to C.S. Lewis's home, The Kilns, in Oxford, England. C.S. Lewis, known as Jack, shared this house with his brother Warren and also with a lady named Mrs. Moore. Her son was friends with um, Jack and he died in World War I and Jack agreed to take care of her. This was Jack and Warren's living room and as they sat here and smoked their pipes, they thought that the ashes of their pipes would keep the moths away. So rather than using an ashtray, they would just dump the ashes right on the carpet. This room was originally Mrs. Moore's bedroom. So the door between these two rooms was kept locked because the other room was Jack's bedroom. There's a little stairway outside that he would use to access this room. It was very cold in the winter because it was more like a porch. And he talked about that there was be ice in his water glass in the mornings. So eventually Mrs. Moore died. He turned the other room into a study but he had lost the key. So he would go down these steps, in through the house, up through the kitchen, and into the other room to get to a study. And he did that for seven years. It wasn't until Mrs. Joy Davidson moved in that she insisted they call a locksmith. Here's the attic of this little house and you can see they've put a little wardrobe in the corner that shows you can peek through into Narnia. This is Holy Trinity Church, just a little ways up the road from C.S. Lewis's house. Jack and his brother Warren are both buried here. church tucked behind a column was the place where Jack sat and right by that spot they turned a window into the Narnia window in his honor. This is Magdalen College where C.S. Lewis taught. It is absolutely beautiful and it kind of makes you want to learn. You get here in these surroundings and it's so pretty and inspiring. Maybe I should have gone here. This is where the students of the college and the professors take their meals. Is this not amazing? Maudlin College is very proud that they are the only college in Oxford that has its own deer park. This is the doorway that leads to Jack's rooms where he conducted tutorials. This is a very famous Oxford bookstore called Blackwell's. I'm going to end this tour of Lewis's haunts with an actual signboard from the pub, The Eagle and Child, otherwise known as The Bird and Baby. This is where he and his friends, the Inklings, would meet and discuss all their literary projects. I hope you enjoyed this little tour as much as I enjoyed giving it.